In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for CuNO32 plus Na2S. This is copper 2 nitrate, and this is sodium sulfide. First thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. I can see I have two nitrates here and just one here. I can see I have two sodiums and then just one here. I'm going to put a coefficient of 2, and that balances this equation. So this molecular equation, it's now balanced. Next, we need to write the states for each substance. Nitrate compounds, if you know your solubility rules, they are soluble. So we write AQ, which means aqueous. Since it's soluble, it dissolves in water, it breaks apart into its ions, it's aqueous. Sodium compounds, also soluble, so we write a little AQ there. For copper sulfide, sulfides in general are insoluble. There are exceptions, but for copper 2 sulfide here, this is going to be insoluble. We write an S, which means it's going to be a solid. It's going to be a precipitate fall to the bottom of the test tube when this reaction takes place. So we have a solid for our copper 2 sulfide. And then nitrate compounds, those are going to be aqueous. We have our states. Now we can split the uh, strong electrolytes part into their ions. That'll give us the complete ionic equation, sometimes called the total ionic equation. So nitrate, that's always a 1 minus good one to remember. So since we have two, copper's got to be two plus. That's why I was calling it copper two plus. So we write Cu two plus, that's the copper ion. I'll write aqueous and stuff at the end. Let's just leave that for now. Nitrates, NO3 minus, and this two means we have two of them. Put a coefficient of two. We have sodium group one, one plus sulfur, that's two minus. So we would put Na plus, and again, we have a subscript here. So two of them, plus the one sulfide ion, which is S2 minus. So those are the reactants. Let's write the products. CuS, this is copper two sulfide, is a solid. So it's sitting at the bottom of the test tube. We're not gonna split this apart. Net ionic equations, we don't split solids apart. So we're just gonna write Cu. S. That would be the solid. We have plus and minus, so we have two sodium ions and two nitrate ions. So we have our products. So now we can cross out spectator ions. These appear on both sides of the equation. They really don't change, so we're not interested in them. So we're just going to get rid of them. I can see I have two nitrate ions here and the reactants two in the products. Just cross those out. Two sodium ions here, and then in the products, two of those. Cross them out. But everything else is unique, and that gives us the net ionic equation for copper 2 nitrate plus sodium sulfide. Let me clean this up a bit and put the states in, and then we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the net ionic equation for CuNO32 plus Na2S. You can see a few things. Charge is conserved, 2 plus, 2 minus. That gives us 0, and we have a 0, no net charge here. And that we have one copper atom here, one here, one copper atom here, one here. So it's a balanced equation. This is a balanced net ionic equation. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.